The WAFCON tournament continues after an exciting display of matches between Burundi and Botswana, ending two goals to four in favor of Botswana. Let's take a look at the highlight. Absolutely excited to be here in this with their two midfielders who all had uh, to play the major tournament and so here we go and uh, it's certainly going to be the uh, Burundi Botswana clash uh, rookies in this competition want to come and show their prowess at this particular championship there will be plenty to look out for in terms of the rounds and forward rounds of the players in the midfield and that's what uh, the Burundians will try to keep it neat and simple when they try to hit the balls out there Hasn't really been the best of a passing move there by Rafiwe. The Bogo goes to ground, You're looking for the call there from the referee. That would not be counting here. Imana, Huddersfield Town in England. Got a chance to be on this competition. Are you expecting this particular shot to go? And was hit wide there by uh, Nila in Imana, younger princess uh, player. She plays a trade in. Deal with that danger. It's the first player to be booked here. So Seppi is whipped into the box. They're looking for Tobago. He's to like it. Looking to whip uh, right footed one into the far post. And it goes in. Goalkeeper commits it. Comes out. Janine couldn't deal with it. And again, it's been calmly dealt with by the back line of uh, Burundi. You talked about their skills. You talked about their province in uh, Burundi. To like it here. Danda sends it to the left hand side, looking for some of the space ball off the line. To La Kelly here, lifting the ball, looking for Tanda. And again, there's going to be an effort which nearly was going to create a problem there for Janine, the Mexican girls FC winger. And she was the one creating this moment there. But well, I thought the ball was already going out. Did Teva really doing well as then in that? Again, it's going to be wasted. It was a ball whipped in by Joel Bukuru over front, Burundi. Good work. And again, it's going to be a near post action. And it's been well saved. And that is going to be the Yonkuru, the Fountain Gate School's Tanzania player, with that strike the near post. And it tells you the story and the agonizing pain. The Botswana goalkeeper is going through here. Look at the shot again, and she had to dive and stretch it with that. Sidi Lame, uh, really doing well, but again, what an effort. An effort really applauded by the fans of what. Which is quite interesting, because I honestly thought uh, Balona was doing exceptionally well. So, this is going to be the first goal of the competition, therefore, Botswana. And I tell you what. Itebe would be smiling and dancing here because she's been able to hit it to the back of the net. What a strike it was. Out of nothing comes this spectacular goal and Botswana will certainly be celebrating. While we were still all trying to grapple with the substitute, Botswana take great advantage. Just a lapse in concentration there for Burundi and they take advantage of that situation. Itebe has shown some great signs and great intentions in front of goal. And it's finally rewarded. Just look at how she picked the ball and wow, she was able to spot the angle right. It's a slick play that came through from Nonda Bazasele and Aditebe. That combination certainly producing a quality goal and left footed it was. And it came through beautifully for the uh, Mexican girls FC Wenger. And she's produced that. And then this is the dance. Hey, very well dispatched <laughs> from. Oh. Botswana. It's again ball into the uh, tough yard area. Nobody there to pick it up. And again, it was the ball whipped in by Anili. And here comes up Botswana looking to spread the ball. And there they do it beautifully. And they have their top player leading the attack moving forward. Their ball laid up. Just give it a second goal. And yes, it is. The second goal certainly has come. And guess who did score? Absolutely stunning excitement coming through from Botswana. Just at the second, the start of the second half, it is Radia Kanyo. She has made it to the for the side, and they can 
absolutely celebrate this one. Well executed transition of play. Tanda releasing Tolagele there with a brilliant ball. Tolagele exceptionally well dispatches it. Gives an assist. Great, great run from Tolagele, who I did, Benjamin, say. If she is left unmarked, she can cause a lot, a lot of trouble. Radio Gagne, who didn't see much of ball possession in the first half, does really well to avail herself in this late run to make it two to Botswana and zero to Burundi. And so that's the story there for Radio Gagne, who scored. Don't get bruised too much by Botswana, who really plays them. Delightful football this evening with the ball into the far post now. And this could be an opportunity for them to have a third with Thunder rising above the goalkeeper. Burundi now going to be really tested character wise. The players really encouraged to be taking, you know, those shots outside the box uh, to really try their luck. Also, considering that this is such a tight group, those goals could really come into, you know, and come into play where it has to be time that you have to advance in the group stages. Here comes Asha Jafari, and it's going to be a strike there. Goalkeeper spills it, and so they pull one back. It is Burundi. They would definitely not give up, and they're not giving up. Sandrine gets a goal there for Burundi, but you have to talk about Asha Jafari. Weaving away into the box, and again, delivering the powerful shot. Goalkeeper Sidlami couldn't quite deal with the situation. And Sandrine pouncing on that loose ball and gifting Burundi a goal here. And so the first goal for Burundi in the competition and the first goal for Sandrine. But this is the talking point. Burundi forced for a response and they do indeed respond right immediately. But obviously with the experience that Sedilami possesses, you would have expected a goalkeeper of her stature to do a whole lot better. That should have been an easy catch for her, but unfortunately, she parries it onto oncoming Sandrine, who takes full advantage of that mistake. Ball was prepared by Asha Jafari, who plays for Simba Queens in Tanzania. And again, it was scored by Sandrine. Another goal here to really set things off in this group. It wasn't done and dusted there for Botswana. Uh, Tulakele would have to start all over again, as she's been doing for the side with a strike. And where was the goalkeeper going? Tula Keller makes it three for Botswana. How about that for a strike? How about that from Seven? Seven really doing ever so well to compliment her brilliance in assisting her teammates and finally rewards herself with a brilliant and well taken goal. It's three, Botswana, one Burundi. This is the lady nickname Seven. Captain Botswana to this historic qualification and of course she has been consistently providing a good leadership in almost a decade and uh, been a huge bargain in the attack there for the team 26 years also made a mark during the qualifiers scoring three goals in four matches and her presence is well being noticed I'm not too sure the position of the goalkeeper I had no idea where she was going when the ball was coming in. The flight of the ball maybe deceived her a little bit to move towards the right hand side. Well, a lot of questions uh, to be asked by the defense line of the team there. Still pushing Tunde here for Botswana. To get the ball away, only as far here. And uh, to La Kelly! It's turning out to be something else. And she has got a second in this competition. And a second tonight, therefore. Botswana get plotted from the coach. And we always talk about her in terms of what she's been able to produce and what she can do for Botswana. Certainly. She will be smiling. Tula Kele now gets a brace in the competition. Poor defensive play there. And Burundi just giving the balls away in very dangerous areas. But what about the assist there? Not being selfish when she got the ball. And Nondi releasing Tula Kele. And she just tapped in for a second and then for the fourth. She's very clinical, Ben. She's very, very clinical. But what a beautiful pass. 
uh, there from Mashasela, who does really well, like U Bonang, who now is on the bench. Ooh. Oh, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. You can talk about it for days. Sadrin gets the praise as well. And just as the girl gets a, a praise, Sadrin has been pushing and she's also been able to produce one. Again, it's a set piece delivered into the box. Not well defended. And this one took a wicked deflection. And this is the moment where she would be celebrating and being excited about the performance again. It is Burundi who will have the deficit there. It is 4 2. This battle is not over yet. Well taken goal there on the volley. Sandrine does really well. And look at her body positioning. She leans forward onto the ball and takes a crack of. After a match thrilling performance from Burundi and Botswana, the matches displayed here happens to be one exciting one.